Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox news video. Today, we're proud to announce that LaunchBox for Android 1.1 has been released. You can go about it two ways. You can either head over to the website, throw your email in, we'll send you the latest APK, you can install it from there, or from within LaunchBox for Android, head over to our options, and make sure check for updates on startup is enabled. It'll fetch it from there and walk you through the install. And like with all new releases of LaunchBox, we've got some fixes, improvements, and some new features when it comes to LaunchBox for Android. If you're interested in reading through the change log, I will leave a link in the description, but let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first up, we've got full game editing. It's now available by long pressing a game and selecting either edit metadata or edit media. So let's head over to, let's do PSP. Find a game from here, let's say Dirt 2. If I long press on this, we now have two options. We've got the edit metadata and edit media. Heading over to media will allow us to change these images, delete them, or you can add your own. It's really up to you. Also have a video section here. My video does exist for this game. You can view the video in full screen. You can browse for a new video or you can delete the video altogether. We'll just go to full screen here. We can play them. No problem there. Background images, it'll let you know if it exists. Same thing, we can view the image, we can browse for a new one and choose a new one, or we can delete the image altogether. So that's the new edit media feature. Now, if I long press on the same game, we're gonna head over to edit metadata. And from here, we have a lot of options. Title, platform, startup file, we've got the developer, publisher, genre, series, release date, release type. All of this can easily be edited or updated directly on Android. And if we take a look down here, we've got flags, so we can set this as our favorite. If we've completed the game, we can turn it on from here. Or if the game isn't working for some odd reason, you can mark it as broken. But we have a lot of options here. And at the very bottom, we have a new section known as Additional Versions. And this really comes in handy for MAME games, FBA, Neo Geo, that have multiple versions of a certain game. Let's say we have Ninja Turtles for MAME. In certain four-player versions of that game, you can't select your character if you're player one or using the first player controller, you're always going to be Leonardo. With the two-player version, you can go through and select which character. Kind of the same thing for The Simpsons, four-player or two-player. So if you need to add an additional version of that game that you already have imported, you can do it directly from here under Edit Metadata, Additional Versions. Real quick, I want to give you another example on why you'd use the Edit Metadata field. From my N64 section, you'll see 007 Goldeneye. This is one of those games that usually isn't named correctly. So I'm going to long press, Edit Metadata, and from here what we have is the LaunchBox Games Database Search. So I know my title's incorrect. I'm going to go ahead and rename this. Now I can tap on the LaunchBox Games Database. I'm going to search, and it found that game for me. So now we have the correct LaunchBox Games Database ID. If I go back here, I'm just going to download all missing media. Once that's finished, I'll head back to N64. And as you can see, it's placed it in the correct location. Got everything I need here because we now have the correct LaunchBox Games Database ID associated with this game. So it'll definitely come in handy for those games that aren't named correctly. From my main menu here, I'm in Banner View. I'm actually going to go ahead and change my view to Wheel with Details. This will also work with the Text with Details view. But if we take a look here, we have a new option, Download Theme Videos. It's going to go ahead and scan for everything. As you can see, it's found theme videos for each one of these. We can go through individually and choose different videos by different creators, or we can select to prioritize. And for me, I usually go with Vikings colorful HD theme videos. So we're going to choose this, and that's going to set it up for each one of my categories over here. Now, all of my theme videos will be that Viking HD, but it's really up to you. If you just want to go in individually and choose a different theme video for a certain platform, it's totally up to you. I'm just going to choose Download All. Give it a second to get everything downloaded. As you can see, we now have those theme videos playing in the background here. And this will only work with the wheel with details view or the text list with details view. Another thing I like doing with these videos in the background is going to my view settings and I disable the box art. 
That way I've just got that video going in the background and these look really good. I've got the transparency down so it doesn't overpower everything. But as you can see, we now have theme videos and LaunchBox for Android. So as you saw with those new theme videos, we have that view settings option, which I just disabled my box art. We've got basically all the same settings under view settings with our themes and even through filters. So if you head over to filters and use the drop down here, you'll see the view settings. You can enable background videos. You can disable that box art like we did with our theme section here. So we've got a lot of new customization options added to our theme section and our filter section also. And like I mentioned, along with all the new features and options in LaunchBox for Android 1.1, there's a lot of fixes and improvements. So I would highly recommend reading through the change log. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. We really appreciate you watching and hope you enjoy version 1.1 for Android. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.